Hi everyone, this is Aaron Edel at Veritone. Today we're going to talk about Object Box. We built Object Box because we needed an object recognition system that was trainable on customer data, moved quickly, could be deployed quickly, and gave you feedback immediately so that you knew if you were on the right path. Remember, the key to good machine learning is to train it on your own data. You shouldn't be able to tell the difference between your training data set and the data set that you're running your model on. So in that vein, let's do a quick demo of Object Box and see how easy it is to train a logo, recognize it, and get immediate feedback to see if you're on the right track. So so as with all of our machine box boxes, it's as simple as running a, a Docker command in terminal. So I've run this command and now the box is running locally on my machine. So all that means is that I need to go to localhost 8080 to access the page for the box. And I can see here immediately I get some introduction as to what object box is, how it works, and then of course the API. But what's more important is the annotation. So object box needs to be trained with something. So let's take logo recognition, for example. There's some good use cases where brands need to know how valuable their logos are based on how often and frequently and central they appear in, let's say, a broadcast of a sports game. Or, in this case, a speech that's been broadcast out through the internet. So this is a video of myself and a colleague. So let's find something that we can draw a box around that we can then track and see if we're actually doing a good job of detecting later on. Okay, so here's the Google logo. If I draw a box around this now and tag it as Google, for example, and save that, I've created a metadata asset locally on my machine that is ready to train. So when I click train here now, I'm training object box on this logo. And I've remember, I've only given it a single example. So once it's done training, I'll be able to then see how well this performed right away by clicking detect. So as we can see, it's correctly detecting this Google logo. Let's go ahead a few frames and see if it's doing it. Still doing a good job. Now, I believe there's another section in this video where a Google logo appears separately and it's not detecting it. That's okay. Remember, we're giving it a training sample with context. So all we need to do is draw another box around here, give it the same tag, go back to train, and start training it again. Now I'm using two examples in two different contexts. I'm essentially telling the object box, which is a machine learning model, what is and isn't a logo in as many contexts as possible. But more importantly, I'm doing it from my customer data set, from my data set, where this is actually really relevant. So now that it's training locally on my machine, I can sit here and wait for it to finish, which usually takes a couple seconds or a couple minutes per training item. And now I can go ahead and test it again by playing it. So as we can see, we're getting good results here, and we'll be getting good results in our other example of this particular logo, which is behind the screen. So that's how you can use Object Box. It's very simple. Once you've trained this up, you can download this state file and run it into your instance of Object Box locally or in the cloud, or you can place it into the Object Box instance running in Veritone's AIware, which will let you run this at scale. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative.